I've you know worked on Talbot Street for nine years. I live in Glasnevin. I tra I travel through town every day to go to work. It's a kip. It's an absolute kip. You walk, you go through streets, you cycle through streets, there's broken glass, there's rubbish all over the place, there's open drug dealing, open drug taking. Um, there's no visible sign of bins being collected, there's bins strewn all over the place. That, that point around no, no guard of visible presence, like I worked in the Indo, right beside Store Street Garda Station. Like you would rarely see like the, the patrols or, or the, the guardie just out on patrol, walking up and down. I, I worked in New Orleans. I worked on Bourbon Street, like party central, and you would see a military like presence. Has that always been the issue in Dublin city centre and, and off our main thoroughfare, which are very busy spots, which yeah. are now being described as areas you want to, wouldn't want to be alone uh, around at night. You go to Paris, course. you go to London, you go to Berlin, you will see significant police presences at night time where there's a lot of tourists because they want people to feel safe and they kind of minimise the potential for unrest or or bad uh, bad behaviour. Like, you, it's really sad to see because Dublin has a lot to see and we saw it transformed after the financial crash. There was a rebirth of, you know, nightlife in Dublin. It, it obviously took a big hit during COVID-19 and like, but like the council have allowed between various bad decisions or underfunding or whatever it is, like the, the streets are manky and filthy. That's one area. But the but the the the, the guard or the lack of guard of presence, you know, combined with that, combined with the high levels of rent, we we're, it's in this sort of perfect storm where like it's not a thriving city at the moment. It's a, it's a city in a lot of pain at the moment. 